Hey everyone and welcome back to my channel. We are in the start of a brand new year and there's probably one buzzword that's going around right now and that is habit. And how to form habits, how to break bad habits, how to form good habits, how to set goals, how to stick to your goals. Now there are many books that talk about habits and how to stick to a habit but there's one technique that I've come across and have applied and have found it to be super useful where you only require a couple of minutes a day if that and no motivation and no drive and no change of behavior like nothing conscious so it's all really happening in your kind of unconscious and subconscious all you really need is the intention and the desire to want to change and what I'm going to talk to you today about is based on a quantum physics principle called the Heisenberg principle. In order to change a habit, we need to think about what the habit loop looks like. And habits are made up of three parts. The first part is the trigger. Now the trigger is the stimulus that begins the whole pattern. Um, so it could be conscious, it could be unconscious. And it's for example, like the time of day that triggers um, at the thought that it's bedtime now and then your bedtime routine starts. So there's some sort of trigger that starts a particular habit. The second thing is a routine and the routine is the set of actions that take place. So as a result of saying, right, it's eight o'clock now, 8 p.m., how, what's the next set of steps that I'm going to take to get to bed? Um, so that might be brushing your teeth, having a shower, getting into your PJs, whatever it is that you do, there is a set of routines that you take and you habitually do every single day. Then thirdly, there's a reward. So this is whatever you gain from performing that complete loop. So it could be satisfaction, it could be knowledge, it could be money. So for example, if your routine is going for a jog, your reward might be that you've looked at your, your smartwatch and you can see how many calories you've burnt or your reward might be that you allow yourself a certain to eat a certain thing after you do you do your particular workout but whatever it is there's always that kind of loop the loop is your trigger the, the routine and then the reward so now that we've understood sort of what a habit loop looks like we need to think a little bit about how we are going to change habits <laughs> So I'm not gonna bore you with the actual physics itself because to be completely honest, I don't understand it. But essentially the Heisenberg principles was a principle that states that there's an uncertainty in, in some sort of mathematical inequality. The formula states that the uncertainty position multiplied by the uncertainty of momentum should be greater than or equal to um, a fraction of the Planck's constant um, times pi. Now, like, I don't understand this at all, so I'm not gonna try to explain it. <laughs> but essentially what this principle is saying in layman's terms is that the observer has an effect on the observed. So essentially, when you witness an event, um, you're actually introducing the power of consciousness and that influences the outcome by just by the fact that you're observing this thing. So let me try to make sense of that. So let's have a think about this in more realistic terms because I've, I've, I've given you a definition but it probably doesn't make sense right now. Let's have a little think about this. Let's say you are on the path to cutting out smoking, okay, right? So you want to cut out smoking but you've tried nicotine patches, you've tried all these other things, it's not working, fine. So let's say on Monday, day one, you are smoking 10 cigarettes in a day. All you need to do is write down the number 10 somewhere. That's all you need to do, write down the number 10. This could be on your phone, on the calendar, it could be on an app, it could just be on a notebook. The fact that you're actually seeing this value on paper will subconsciously hurt you and will actually bring that number to the forefront of your mind and you would you are going to want to change it over time so what's going to happen is tomorrow um again follow the exact same thing don't try to cut down anything just write down the number that you smoke it might be it's the same it might be slightly higher but over time what you'll notice is that this number is going to decrease what we like to do as humans is we like to be ignorant to to the bad habits that we have we like to push to the back of our mind if we are ordering out every single afternoon or every single dinner we don't like to accept that so we just order and we just keep that you know keep pushing we won't look at our bank statements we won't look at our uber eats balance we just simply do the thing and, and walk away from it but if you're actively taking a look at those numbers by virtue of the fact that you are looking at those values you will be changing it's a bit like someone on the outside shining a light on those habits that you were previously like just hiding in the corner or hiding in the closet what will happen is on day two you might still be smoking 10 by day five you've probably gone down to like seven or six or seven 
by an, the end of a couple of weeks, you will slowly be cutting it down. Like I said, without even consciously trying to. One way that I've actually done this myself personally is, and I, I spoke about this on Instagram maybe, I don't know, a month or two months, maybe two months ago. How many screen time hours do you guys use or spend um, per day? And I think mine was something like five hours, I think it was. Um, at the time, I think it was like two months ago. And you guys, some of you guys were like one hour, some of you guys were like nine hours. And some of you actually sent me a message saying, I've never looked, I've never taken this value and, and absorbed this value and actually sat there and thought about it. Because they were like, wow, I've been on my phone for seven hours today. That means I wake up at nine o'clock and it's currently, so I've been on my phone all day. And the fact that that person was consciously taking in the the thing that they were be that they were observing which in this case was how many hours they spent on their phone automatically they are now going to change and tomorrow without even trying they're automatically going to be like oh I'm, I've been on my phone for the past hour let me put my phone down without any self guilt without any shame without any like limits or any kind of apps to you know cancel out a certain or you know block certain apps or whatever without the need for any of that just simply observing behavior your own behavior has such an impact on on changing habits and i i think let's let me challenge you guys to this let's see if what you guys um end up you know changing or what habits you guys want to change because i think this is something that i want to implement with my with myself as well because i've done this with my phone screen time and i saw such a huge difference i was getting messages from my my um notification saying this week you've gone down by 20% and I, I love that and then the next week it was like down by 20% so it kept going down and down without actually doing anything however when I had the time blocking on my Instagram app I think I had like 45 minutes after the 45 minutes I was just sat there like I want more time <laughs> it's just a little secret out there you don't need any of those habit books I mean although I do love them but you can very easily change your habit with this principle and i actually haven't heard it being spoken about so hopefully there's something new that you've learned today and i absolutely love it if you could subscribe to my channel to see more from me leave me a comment down below and let me know what habit you are going to try to implement this on and i challenge you to come back to this video in a month's time or two weeks time and let me know if it worked for you because really you don't actually have to do anything so come back to the video in two weeks and let me know if it worked for you i'd absolutely love to hear your success stories um, and i'll see you guys in my next video bye